back with a new video. This is my next installment of the zombie review series. This time we're going to be doing the 2009 Zombieland starring uh, Bill Murray, Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone, Woody Harrelson. A great cast. Um, a lot of great comedians. Um, really showed some of their acting skills in this movie, in my opinion. And this movie is amazing. Like I was going to start that off right there to tell you my ranking, my rating is going to be high. Um, this is a great zombie movie, one of the best, and I think the reason for that, besides the actors, the script, the quality, the way it looks, is what it is. It knows that zombies are a little ridiculous. It knows the concept of that is very out there. So they don't try to take it too. They don't take it seriously at all, in my opinion. Because um, you get some movies like World War Z, for instance, or uh, is there Day of the Dead. There, uh, there's a. I mean, there's a bunch, obviously. The Walking Dead series that try to make it super serious, and in some cases it works. Uh, Walking Dead, it works to an extent. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a silly concept. I still love it, but it is a silly concept. And so some movies, they try to take it serious, and then it just looks, it just comes out weird. And this one, that's not the case. They knew it was silly, so they went for the dark comedy aspect of the movie. And with Jesse Eisenberg and Woody Harrelson as the two main characters, they nailed it on so many levels. I mean, this is the zombie movie that I've, at, for this generation, I feel like any later on movies in this category looks at and examines before they decide what they want to do because I mean it nailed everything this the design of the zombies the way they looked some of them look super serious as far as like great makeup some of them look ridiculous like the clown at the end of the movie well these fellas really let themselves go <laughs> Um, there wasn't really any special effects that I noticed. I mean, most of it was all practical effects, which really d does a lot for me and makes me appreciate the movie even more. Um, I love when any movie can do practical effects. CGI, obviously in some cases you need it, but I feel like with the horror genre, when it comes to like zombies and slashers, you don't really need that. I mean, even in some like Poltergeist type movies, it's not necessary to do CGI. You only do that... I want to almost say because you're lazy. I mean, I guess that'd be the best way to put it because obviously doing practical effects takes longer. You know, it takes time to sit in the chair and put the makeup on or add in whatever it is you're doing. What is the CGI? You just do the movie, add it in later, and you're done. And that's not always a bad thing. It just depends on the money you have with this movie and if you can afford the graphic to look good. But, anyways, that's a different topic completely. Back to Zombie Land. I mean, for the most part, I think it did everything great. But yeah, I mean, almost anything that was in this movie, I feel like they did a very well, very good job at doing it, executing it. Um, it looked good. It's kind of had the dark tone to it, as far as the way it looked. But then also, it kind of combined the dark and light tones of a comedy and a horror. Obviously, that's what a dark horror is, is those two together. So, I mean, they did a really good job at that. And the acting was great. I mean, I believed everyone in this movie. Um... And then some of the cameos they had in there, like Bill Murray in it, was great. Uh, Emma Stone did a really good job, and I've never been a big fan of her. But in this movie, she really made me appreciate her more and like her acting. I mean, Woody Harrelson is Woody Harrelson. He's great in almost anything I've seen, whether it's something ridiculous or something you know, great. He knows the part that he's given. Mother always told me, someday you'll be good at something. I mean, I don't think she could have guessed that, that something would be zombie killing. And Jesse Eisenberg did a great job. I mean, I feel like the role he did in this is kind of his role in most of his movie. The really awkward, shy person, which I don't know if that's how he is in real life. I've never met him, but if it's not, or if it is, either way, he did a great job in this and nailed that performance. So, yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, it's probably the peak of zombie movies, in my opinion. Obviously, you got some of the originals. Um, like, uh, you know, Night Living Dead and stuff like that, but I feel like as far as just this generation goes and what you expect to see, you know, you're usually expecting seeing something really cheesy, really crappy, um, whether you like it or not, 
in this in the zombie movies, but with this, it excelled at being that cheesy and over the top, and did it great. Um, it g gave me a really big vibe of the um, Left 4 Dead uh, video game series. I feel like they got some ideas from that, from some of the scenes in the movies, like the end of the movie. And just kind of some of the aspects of how the movie worked out, um, which is a great game, so if they did get some inspiration by that, I mean, that's fine with me. I love that game. I still love that game. But yeah, so I mean, overall, it's a great movie. Um, and it, whether you're a zombie fan or horror fan or not, I would say go see it. Or I guess not go see it because it's been out obviously 10 years. Um, but go buy it and watch it. Go get it on Voodoo or whatever you watch your uh, streaming services on. Um, also, they did re reveal a release. I mean, I guess it's been like a year now that they're doing a new one. And I don't know if it's the confirmed title, but the going around title is Zombieland Double Tap, which makes sense for. If you've seen the movie already, that name obviously works very well for saying that it's a sequel and referencing something that was in the first movie. Um, so I'm super excited for that. I hope it goes well. As far as I know, they've gotten most of the original cast back. Um, I guess there's only, I mean, there's only four people in this movie that's like the main cast. I get Emma Stone, Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, and her little sister, which I don't know her name. So I think they got, I know they've got Woody Harrison and Jesse Eisenberg. I don't know about Emma Stone and the daughter, or in the sister. But either way, as long as they got those two, I feel like they can do a great job with the movie. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a double rating for this movie, because overall it's a great movie, whether you're look, just wanting to watch a good movie or a zombie movie. So overall, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for just an overall movie, no matter which way you see it, because it nailed everything zombie-wise and horror-wise, I feel like, for that that type of movie, and I mean the acting was great, the cinematography was great, lighting, script, everything was great. So overall I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, which I mean so far is the highest grading I've give, gave him, which will probably be the highest honestly, I mean this is one of my favorite all time horror movies in general. So I don't know what I'll be doing with this series, but I think this will most likely be the highest rated one we'll have to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later.